Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. So I've tried to provide you guys with some fronts here uh, where we're going to block wide receivers on none run support and then we can bring those guys down and set our pitch key. All right. The fronts that I have it against are the only ones that we see. Basically, we're going to see mostly 50, uh, a little bit of 4-3, and then uh, we have some split front plays or 4-4, whatever you want to call it. So I'll get into this here. And then I have some drill work at the end of this that we can talk about to show you how we work on certain situations with these guys. All right, so we've got balanced two A's to B, and we've got the wide receiver split out. he will be non-run support out here. All right, so I'll start with the offensive line. And then I'll work back with the uh, quarterback, the B, and the A backs. All right. So the uncovered lineman is going to start the whole call sequence on the inside. All right. So in this case, the center is going to un uncover versus this look. So he's going to make a call to the guard that says, I'll help you on the inside. Okay. So the guard now has to make a call because he is covered. He's got to make a call to the play side tackle to tell him, I, I, I can't help you in the B gap. All right. So you're on your own. You're singled up in there. So when we do call it zone block, you know, it's a zone blocking scheme. All right, it's a little bit more of a vertical zone blocking scheme. It's not a stretch play, okay? And it can turn into a man scheme real quick because that play side tackle in this scenario has no help on the inside. So if the five were to move inside on him, he would have to wheel and basically pin him inside and not allow any penetration. I hope that makes sense to you, okay? So we're going to set an edge somewhere in here, guys. All right, that's why I said it's not a stretch play. All right, if that five technique wants to run, let them run. All right, we tell that tackle, you're going to aim for that outside peck, you're going to run through the outside peck. And if he wants to stay in your face, then you can work to the outside half. We're not going to wheel on guys. We're not going to swing our hips and try to create an edge. If the five technique wants to defend that C-gap all the way to the sideline, we tell the tackle to take him to the sideline because we'll set an edge back in here somewhere, Okay. And then the backside here is just going to scoop. All right, so in this case right here, we decided that we were going to go ahead and pitch off of our safety. So we, this is a call that we put in. All right, we're going to tell this A back to block that linebacker. Yes, he's a little bit wide. That's the in and the out call we talked about earlier. All right, so we decided that we're going to go ahead and pitch off of that, uh, the safety. So we want to block this linebacker here. All right, so the tackle is going to single block. He's going to reach the C gap. These two guys are going to work the uh, – 2 I, right, to the backside linebacker. The A back going to block the play side linebacker. We're going to pitch off the safety. The wide receiver is going to go ahead and block non run support. Again, we're going to get the scoop here in the backside. Why are we not working to the mic here? Well, we don't need to because we have the fullback. All right, he can take care of this mic linebacker, whether it's through the B gap or whether it's through the C gap or even the D gap. Okay. Now, the B back, when he hears the calls on the inside, he knows that he is definitely going to have to check the B gap. If the guard is uncovered, which we will get into here in a second, he has an easier uh, time of being able to help out in the B gap. So when the, the fullback hears the calls and he hears that the guard's covered, he's definitely got to get his eyes in the, in the B gap, all right, for any kind of run through. If he hears that the guard is uncovered, he's still going to peek, but he knows we have the guard there to cover that gap as well, okay? Now the quarterback – when we do this now, he's a little fast here. We want him to take a bit of a skip, skip, skip step and delay coming out of here. Again, we, he's going to the, the a back is going to start as late as possible. All right. So a couple of reasons why that quarterback has to take that skip, skip, skip step and delay a little bit. One is to let the fullback clear. All right, because he's got that aiming point one yard outside the hip of the tackle here or the outside leg of the tackle. And then we got to get him cleared, and then we've got to get the A back around for pitch relationships. So we're going to delay that quarterback a little bit. And anybody that knows when you've got a fullback R scheme and you've seen it, if he doesn't get cleared and he's too fast, sometimes they're going to run into each other or you're going to get a pitch right into the fullback shoulder blades right there because the quarterback sees him instead. All right, so we got to let all these guys get cleared. So you see the pitch relationship here with the quarterback and the A back. All right, so let's start here with the play side tackle. He's going to reach the five technique. Again, like you said, we're going to go ahead and reach the five. Again, he wants to stretch. That's fine. 
all right? Where the fullback needs to do right here, when he sees this thing starting to open like he does, he needs to be on the Mike linebacker right now, all right? So the fullback's eyes need to be inside. You can see the problem that you run into there, all right? The fullback has to be smart to, yes, he sees the tackle, you know, reaching the five technique, but he's also got to see that B gap start to open and he's and his eyes belong in there anyway. So he's got to see this Mike linebacker. If you take this inside combination too fast and try to get to the mic, you're kind of loose in the A gap and that's where we worry. We, we need to get this place started. And if you fail here in the A gap, it's going to be tough. Okay. So as you can see, we'll, the fullback misses the mic. The defense does stretch, but we've kind of set the edge here in the B gap. Quarterback does a decent job of making something out of it. And you got the scoop on the backside. This zone combination is going to go to the backside linebacker. All right, so that's the 4-3 there. We're going to pitch off the safety. Okay, again, another 4-3 play. All right, another 4-3 play. So what we're going to do here is we're going to arc. We're going to pitch off the safety, and we're going to block the linebacker here. Kind of the same scheme that you saw in the last play. Uncovered, he's going to start to call inside out. So these two are going to work here. All right, they're going to scoop off the backside. We're going to reach this, and we're going to try to block the play side linebacker. So as you see this, the fullback sees the B-gap open here. Again, even though the, the tackle has reached the five technique, you see the size of the B-gap. So again, the fullback is the eyes for the quarterback here. You see the little bit of delay that the quarterback takes. It's not much, but he's slow getting out of there. Now this A-back has to get around. And the biggest thing with this A-back coming around here, when that quarterback starts to get downhill, he needs to get downhill with him. All right, you see this, this A-back start to drift. He may start to drift because he knows that the quarterback is going to turn that thing up in the B-gap, but he's got to be able to get downhill and get his shoulders to match the quarterbacks here as well. There's not much you can do when this linebacker folds back inside. All right, but the, the B-back does a good job. We do a good job at setting the edge right here in the B-gap. All right, this thing has gone outside as well. But we always tell these guys, we'll set an edge somewhere, all right? It doesn't matter where, but we'll find it and we'll get it in there. I've seen this thing go back to the A gap before, okay? All right, so now we've gone and condensed our splits, all right? We've condensed the split of the wide receiver. So we brought him down inside. We put the corner in a support role. So we'll pitch off the first run support defender from the sideline in. All right, so you can set that with this because when you bring that wide receiver in, it usually forces that corner into a cover two situation. So now we've set our pitch key as being the corner. All right, so now we have a call to where, now we'll count this out like an inside veer option play, all right, with him being number one and him being number two. So we bring this guy down inside, he'll block number two in the option count. We'll pitch off the run support defender outside, all right? This now puts the A back inside of the play side linebacker, this call, and then it puts your B back on the safety. All right, you see, yeah, we want to skim this A back inside to the play side linebacker, but if this guy gets pinned, and again, I've got some drill work at the end of this tape that we do in, with some pod work in practice, it helps this combination out. Really, your A-back is going to read this out. If number two stays inside and gets pinned, then he can work outside to the linebacker. If number two will run out, then he will get inside to it. All right, and your B-back is hunting up your safety. Watch this from the wide angle. Again, the guard's uncovered. He's going to work inside help with the tackle to the backside linebacker. We're just working our scoops off the backside. Just got tripped up here. But a pretty good job of working to the play side linebacker. Pretty good job of working to the backside linebacker. Safety fits outside. 
Feedback kicks it out, quarterback comes up underneath it. Okay, another condensed formation. This is kind of unusual. I put this in here because of the cross charts and the way the wide receiver reacted to it. So we've got the call for him to block number two in the option count. That would be this guy. We would pitch off our corner here, all right? Putting our V-back on the safety, the inside combination going to the backside linebacker. Let's take a look here, all right? He would block number two in the option count. These two would zone the four to the backside, scoop here, scoop here, all right? Your fullback is gonna hunt up your safety. We're gonna pitch off the corner. I put this on here because of this stunt that they did here and the wide receiver did a very good job at reacting to it. And the play side guard did a good job at picking it up. So you watch where they bring the outside linebacker in, all right? He zones the B, picks up the pop, he goes to the safety. So now we really, we've got an extra guy and the safety fits down inside. So he fits up to the safety, not very well because he's Kind of surprised that he had to do that. Again, you're basically still pitching off the corner, but we did a good job at just sealing the perimeter and the safety struggled to get over there and cover that area. Everybody's stepping up and in here, really good for zone blocking. The linebacker, they fit two guys in the gap here trying to do a little bit of a cross dog or something like that. Fullback does a great job at finding the B gap and covering it. You can see great job with his eyes. Covers our quarterback here. Good job of getting the ball out. I'll be honest with you, we very rarely get this ball pitched. All right, this is a quarterback run play. It's a great short yardage play and goal line play for us. All right, every now and then it does get kicked though. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data, and you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.